hey guys so we're finally back with a new video if you haven't seen the first video which talks about my first athlete which is Natasha Hastings you guys could go check it out as well it's going to be a double upload for today now this athlete basically has no introduction as well um, she is not new to the spotlight but she has been running for a good I would say a good amount of years to consider as one one upcoming great athletes we're talking about now um, Phyllis Francis she is held in the USA she is also a 400 meter runner as well she is born 1992 May 4th she is um, her birthplace is in New York City her hometown is in Queens so her experience she has also ran at the 2016 Olympic Games she is a former Olympian she helped contribute um, the gold that um, they won the 4x4 and she came fifth in the individual 400 now some of the experience that um, Phyllis Francis has um, before she was a 400 runner um, let me give you a little backstory on her she had ran the 800 while she was growing up her sister who is also a 800 runner if I'm not mistaken Claudia um, Francis you know she is also um, a 400 but more of an 800 runner you know they both also ran well mostly um, they ran at the NCAA and the um, Eugene Oregon you know she is also a, a former Oregon Duck member you know but yeah she started very at a mid age I would say you know she started doing the um, 800 and she even said that in some of her interviews that you know her sister used to beat her a lot when she was running the 800 but over time I think she basically had a talk with her coach and eventually she basically groom herself to started you know running the 400 which I think she find her position as she was expanding her options now after she got graduated and all that stuff and went to um, Oregon she went to the world championship in 2015 if I'm not mistaken she also helped contributed um, in the 4x4 and I also think she even came in fifth place again running behind Shawnee Miller Allison Felix and Shawnee Miller and um, Fritzina McGorry also ran that as well that was in 2015 and then a couple of months years later we saw her at the um, 2016 um, Olympic trials for the Rio games now due to the fact that at that time she was coming in as like a mm -hmm. I would say a new face she even you know helped came in like third place filling up the spot for the third position due to the fact that um um what's her name Sonia Richard Ross couldn't make it at that time it was up to Phyllis Francis as well as Allison Felix and then Natasha Hasing which made the team at the 2016 uh, 400 women's trials so I could say she had great experience under her um, belt you know Phyllis Franson went on to becoming a very great athlete as the years prolong you know behind the duel of Felix and Tasha Hastings at the trials she came in third if I'm not mistaken and then when she went to Rio she even did something even more phenomenal you know coming in and representing in the same field she graduated and you know it, I think it was very special for her she said even that you know she is a former um, Oregon Duck now after the trials we saw that she started training even more she even started planning to make what her next move is going to be because you know you had Felix as the favorite coming into the 2016 games and then you had the uprising of Shawnee Miller who also 
you know, train um, very well as well. Now, another thing we, we didn't know, well, some of you guys don't know, she used to be trained under Bobby Kersey as well. You know, the training partner of Alice and Felix as well. So she was in the same training camp as Felix. You know, she even helped... Um, she was the third leg person to give the baton to Alice and Felix at the 2016 games, making them win the gold. So that that is something that I think not a lot of people, you know, sometimes you don't even know when how the teams are going to be made. But I was so happy to see Phyllis Francis to make the team and still come in like fifth place individually in the 400. But she came back and ran at the relay where she won her first gold for the team you know it was her Akolo, um, Tasha Hastings and Felix who won the 4x4 now one thing that I know about Phyllis Francis is that you know she loves to work hard and she loves to pace herself very much you know she's a very good I would say um, not stride run like to run down opponents but she knows how to hang on when it's when it's time to really shift the gear because mind you she used to run that um 800 so she has a lot of stamina you know over time she went to the um the usa pricks games which was um universal games where that's when they depict when you should um run at the world championship so when we got to 2017 world championship after the rio game we saw that they, it was an unexpected move that the two favorites at that time, um, people thought that was going to win. Felix was coming, going after um, Shawnee Miller due to the fact that you know she lost at the 2016 game to her. So they both got out too quickly, but unexpectedly, the person that came at the end who stole the show was Phyllis Francis. Phyllis Francis became the world champion in 2017 she not only beat uh, the duo of Shawnee Miller and Felix but behind her was Sawa D. Nasser who also came in second you know that was a shocking uh, turn of event you know she beat them with a time of 49.92 if I'm not mistaken you know at that time on, on top of that she was running in a weather that was very cold while it was raining so that's that's a lot of points to her you know she not only trained very hard but she 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 was even more shocked that um she won like when they pictured the zoom in the camera her face was just bowed out she was like 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 her expression was like she can't believe she just did this because at that time, you know, you have all these other great athletes that were going neck to neck. And then, I guess, Shawnee Miller probably stumbled. But, you know, um, Francis is the type of athlete like, if you don't, I would say, if you don't really focus on her too much, you might end up losing the race to her. Because she's a, she's a silent killer. Like, she doesn't give you the expression that she's very fast, but she is very, very endurable endurance so by the time that Shawnee got that little leap and Felix started slowing down due to the fact that she was catching uh Shawnee Phyllis Francis stepped up and got the goal and I was I very respect that race so much you know when when she got that race you know she congratulated Felix you know Felix came in third and Sawa came in second she became uh the world championship in 2017 which was very cool you know I was very proud of her too because you know not only she's a former Oregon Duck you know I think everyone that came from that university was very proud of her too you know even USA teammates as well you know so after that from 2018 to 20 yeah from 2018 to 2019 you know a year later we saw her yet again you know she came she went to some of the other races like um they had like Zurich meets they had like regular you know certain meets but that didn't just stop her from there a couple of years later we saw her at the um USA uh I guess Diamond League that determines if you're gonna go to the world championships where she made the team up there 
and then you know you also had Felix that came back to run as well you know this was our first time coming back and then we saw Francis you know emerge as the athlete after winning the world championship she became not only a stronger uh, opponent but a lot of people were you know betting that you know due to the fact she won she could have done it again because now she was in the spotlight she was not only in the sidelines but she was also a danger to win again at the world championship in 2019 so when she got to the prefix meet in the 2019 if I'm not mistaken the USATF um, meet um, she I, she qualified to um, get to the world championship she got to the world championship she even had like a separate meet where she ran at the Zurich meet where it was her and Felix who ran and you know that was when Felix was getting back to her groove again so when we got to the Doha world championship it was another battle we had her she ran through the finals like the the um semifinals so it was not a problem so when she got to like the um i would say the the actual final it was her sawa d nasser shawnee miller weebo um stephia mcpherson sharika jackson like all these great people ran fast times and sadly she didn't win but she did an incredible time and she even came back and contribute at the um, 4x4 at the uh, World Championship in 2019 in Doha she not only helped contribute they won gold which also put her at two medals in tally for 4x4 you know 2015 I would I guess 2014 as well you know but um Phyllis Francis is a very good athlete and I hope that more people should pay attention to her you know as the years change and Olympics are getting closer again we might see an emergence from her that we never seen before you know sadly we didn't see her at the Tokyo Games I don't think she was there because you know this year's Olympics was very tight to get into you know because a lot of people was fighting tooth and nail to get into the team just to make the team alone so but from then these were the things that I find Phyllis Francis very incredible and she works very hard and I think make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye